this is the base of the skull the base of the skull is a part of the skull on which the brain is resting it is dividing into three cranial fossa anterior cranial fossa middle cranial fossa and posterior cranial fossa let us learn the middle cranial fossa this is a middle cranial fossa which is formed by the central part of the fossa is formed by body of the sphenoid the superior surface of the body of the sphenoid is forming a deep concavity which is called as cella tarsica the central part of the cella tarsica is very deep is forming the hypophyseal fossa on which the pituitary gland is resting below the body of the sphenoid you can see here there are sphenoidal air sinuses so this is the central part of the middle cranial fossa on both the sides the middle cranial fossa is formed by the greater wing of the sphenoid bone the sphenoid bone is the bone which is having two wing lesser wing and greater wing. the greater wing of the sphenoid is showing the following features the first foramen this is a foramen rotundum it is a round foramen now through which the maxillary division of fifth cranial nerve trigeminal nerve is passing next foramen foramen oval which is oval shaped foramen through which the mandibular division of fifth cranial nerve trigeminal nerve is passing the third foramen you can see here which is a very small foramen foramen spinosum through which the branches of middle meningeal arteries are passing so these are the three foramens foramen rotundum foramen oval foramen spinosum you can see in the greater wing of the sphenoid the posterior most part of the middle cranial fossa is formed by petrous part of the temporal bone the petrous part is a part which is pyramidal in shape and it contains the middle ear and internal ear on the posterior side of the petrous part the canal is present this canal is a carotid canal through which the internal carotid artery is passing